All right, welcome everybody. Okay, so today's lesson was on the perimeter of composite figures. Now, composite figures are when you put more than one figure together. So you'll notice in this situation, we have more than one figure together. I've got a triangle right here, and I've put it together with a rectangle. A composite figure it means two different, two or more sh shapes going together. So, what if we want to find out the distance around this shape? Notice. It says estimate, so I'm not going to require you do it absolutely perfectly. I want you to be close, so let's take a look. Now, when it's perfectly horizontal, that's nice, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This section right here is 5. And this section is 4, because when you go perfectly vertical, it's really easy to count. Now, if the top one's 5, the bottom one's 5, and you can hopefully see that those two are 2s. What's going to be the interesting thing? Well, check it out. What if we have a diagonal? Well, they're not exactly one, right? They're a little bit more than one because they're on the diagonal. Technically, I think they're 1.41 something something. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them equal about one and a half. So it'll make it easy for our counting and we'll be close. One and a half, three, four and a half, six. So this is about six. And then that's what this would be. How do we find out what the distance around the entire shape is? It's easy. Channel your inner first grader and add them all up. It's pretty easy. You'd end up with 30. Get it? Try one on your own. Once again, for the diagonal, estimate that to be about one and a half for each. All right, I'm back. Now, of course, that was the easy one, six. That was the easy one, six. This one was about 4.5, because 3 times 1 and a half is 4.5. That would be about 4.5. That would be about 4.5. And that would be about 4.5. Not so bad. When we add all these up, you'll notice that I added in some 6.0s here for the 6s, because it's always nicer when everything has a number in the column. And if I think about two 4.5s is 9, and I think about these two 4.5s is 9, 9 plus 9 plus 6 plus 6 is also 30. And I didn't even plan it to be the exact same number. All right, so what do we do if we've got a circle? Well, we know how to find out the distance around a circle. It's easy. We've got another formula. Pi times the diameter. Now, since we only have half the circle, we only need half the circumference. So when we plug in, it's not so bad. It's 5 pi. And everybody knows that 5 times 3.14 is 15.70. So that was easy for everybody, right? Now we need to find out the distance around the entire shape. So I need all three sides. I need the 15.7, which was the half circle. I need the 6, and I need the 8. Do you see that? Add them all up, and you got your answer. It's about 29.7 feet for the distance around that shape. You guys think about this one. Notice this is made up of a square. Think about it. What does a square mean? Give it a shot. Okay, I'm back. So what we've got is the di diameter here is 8. You sound about right. It's a square. Everything's 8. All right, so when I divide by 2, I end up getting 4. And everyone knows 4 times 3.14 is 12.56. All right, with that said, notice the distance is 8. 12.56, 8, and 12.56. When we add them all up, you end up getting your answer, 41.12. All right, does everyone see how we're playing this game? Awesome. Remember, if you got any questions, ask your teacher.